Are you up for the challenge? I love this job more than I imagined I could. The day I stop giving it my all is the day I walk away. <laughs> Melissa, uh, tell me, I would like to know what, what we see this new season that we will make us uh, fall more in love with this series. Oh, man. I think that after the crazy year we've had with the pandemic, with all of the stuff going on with police, which is not only happening in the U.S., it's happening all over the world. Um, I think that people will be excited to see the same characters that you know and love going through more crazy adventures, but also like incorporating this piece that I think will give people new insight on this world. And by this world, I mean like the police force and also how the police force interacts with the people in the communities, you know? Um, yeah, Nolan goes back to college, which in a way means he's still a rookie. You know, he's like the oldest student now. Um, Lucy's no longer a rookie and she's feeling herself out as a proper P2 cop. And Jackson gets a really terrible training officer. Like he, he has somebody, or as a partner, he has a new partner that is just an awful person. And I think that was really exciting for us to see because we were able to see that not all cops are perfect and good because that's how it feels when you're watching our show sometimes, you know? So we were able to balance that out. And of course, you know, Bradford and Chen have their silly moments, which continue to unfold when they get to work together. It's, it's a lot of fun. So what did you like uh, most about uh, with this new season and why? I, what did I like the most? You know, In some ways, personally, I thought it was really cool to watch the episodes after they had aired because of the pandemic, we didn't get to shoot a lot of scenes together. So it felt like everybody was on their own TV show. You know, every episode we would work with maybe one or two other cast members, but everything that everyone else was doing, we never saw them, we never got to work with them. And then watching the episodes later, it was so exciting to see the work that my friends had done and to see how the story was weaving together. It was, um, It's like exciting to see all of the different ways the writers have made this crazy time work. Yeah, perfect. Melissa, uh, Rookie's so dramatic and romantic. So what can you say <laughs> about the relationship between Lucy and Tip? Uh, what does it evolve in this new season? Well, <laughs> I think that when I think about Lucy and Bradford in the third season, I feel like their relationship kind of evolves. And there's this familiarity that comes with just being so close for so many hours, you know? And so, especially after Lucy graduates out of becoming a, out of being a rookie, there's this like ease and this shorthand that they have with each other, just purely, it's, a, it's an intimacy that only comes from being really, really close with one another, you know? And Lucy at one point says some pretty big things to Bradford, which I think people will be really excited about. Perfect. <laughs> Melissa, uh, looking back on the last three seasons or two seasons, uh, what has been your proudest moment uh, playing Lucy? My proudest moment playing Lucy. Yeah. I think, I mean, looking back at it, I don't know if I feel as proud, but in the moment, I felt really proud to, um, in the second season, for the mid-season finale, when Lucy gets abducted, that two-part series in it. I was really proud that the writers trusted me to do something so dynamic and emotional. It required a lot of her. And I was just like so grateful that they trusted me to show up for that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Melissa. Melissa, uh, finally, um, how do you feel about representing a police woman who doesn't fall into cliches and taboos typical of television? I don't think about it too much. But when you ask me and when I think about what it means to me to play Lucy, um, you know, I, I think like right now I'm thinking about the messages I get sometimes on Instagram and Twitter. Like a lot of young women reach out to me and talk about, I don't even think of it. And they talk about how grateful they are to see someone who's like a real person going through real things. And sometimes she totally screws it up 
but she keeps going. And um, I don't know, it's a weird thing to say even representation because I'm, my mother is Chinese, my dad is Canadian. And so as a mixed person, I haven't always felt like I belonged in, in any spot, but uh, evidently from the messages that I get, it, it means a lot to other people. And I think about what it meant to me to see Yvonne Elliman, like the Chinese lady, or she's a Hawaiian, the Hawaiian lady and Jesus Christ superstar. Like it meant so much to see someone who looks like me on TV doing some things that I didn't even know I could do. That's why representation matters. And um, I'm, I'm grateful to be a part of it in some small way, even if I don't think I am.